Hello. In today's class, we shall be looking out how to express thoughts in their simplest forms. Now, some swords or some numbers in a sword can be expressed in simplest form. In today's class, I will look at just two examples. I will start from a simplest to a more complex one. Now, we'll start with the first one, root 8. Now, how can I simplify root 8 into a simplest sort? The first thing we do here is step one. I think of two numbers that can be multiplied to get eight. You must think of any two numbers that you can multiply to get eight. And step two, one of that number must be a perfect square. Why the other a sword? You know, a sword can be root two, root three, root five, root seven, root eleven, and one must be a perfect square. And that perfect square must be a factor of eight, and that number are four and two. As you can see, four is a perfect square because also four can divide eight, so four is a factor of eight, and two is a sword. Four times two gives us eight, so my root eight becomes root four times two. This is the same as this. Now, in swords, if you watched my previous videos, we understand that we can split this into two. It becomes root four times root two. All right, so the next thing is root four is two times root two. So this is the simplest form of sword for root eight. So this is my final answer. Now we we'll look at the more complex one, the same procedure, the same steps. Root 125. The first thing again, think of two numbers that can be multiplied to get 125. Remember, one of that number must be a perfect square, and that number must be a factor of 125. I think of two numbers and the two numbers I think of is 25 and 5. If you use your calculator, 25 times 5 is 125. So I can split this into two, it becomes root 25 times 5. This is the same as this. Now we can split this into two, it becomes root 25 times root 5. Now what is the square root of 25 is 5 root 5. So the simplest form of swords for root 125 is 5 root 5. So when you are asked to simplify a sword into its simplest form, the first thing you do again is to think of two numbers that can be multiplied to get that number. Number two, one of that number must be a perfect square while the other must be a sword, which can be two, three, five, seven, eleven. This is how we express swords in simplest form. Big.